Good morning, Ken. Hi, Sherry. How are you doing? I'm doing great, and you? Um. <laughs> You're sipping. <laughs> Good morning to y'all. Want to start the week out by saying thank you to a few people. <laughs> Our newest Rise and Shine edition. Go ahead. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> Tell them who it's from. That's from Fred and Kim Hawkins from West Virginia. Do you want to tell them the story of this hat? Do you want me to? Oh, you tell it. The Browders were here a week ago and uh, great friends. Brother Tommy, just a special man. He really is. And uh, right in front of the whole congregation, he looked at me and said, uh, every time I look at you, you remind me of the skipper on Gilligan's Isle. <laughs> so yesterday Amazon delivered a package for Ken we have no idea where it came from but in it was this hat <laughs> so here's uh, Skipper Ken who doesn't have a lot of voice this morning because he sang and preached yesterday and this is just his Monday morning voice. Yeah. But it will get better with another cup of coffee. <laughs> the Lord is my strength, and I thank him for my healing mm -hmm. and for the opportunity of having such a great day together with my, with my church family yesterday. Uh, it was a precious thing. It really was. You'd like me to pull this hat up? Well, I just can't see your eyes. Uh, I think it'd be a little more. That's better. We're going to Thank leave you. the realm of the... Of the uh, whoever Gilly sent that up. to me, I want to say thank you. I, I can I can name a whole bunch of people who would do that. <laughs> yeah, you know, isn't that precious? So I can't narrow it down, <laughs> and it's all in fun too. It's not mocking anybody out. I'm, no, I'm doing. You know, there's a million preachers that would give anything to have uh, friends that close that you could have fun with, and nobody's feelings would be hurt. So I'm I'm feeling very blessed and grateful. Thanks for the nice hat. <laughs> Charlotte drew my attention to this devotional that is posted every day on the Bayside Church. You know, if you'd like to get the devotions for yourself, they post them every day. They're on Bayside. Tell them this morning our connection to Bayside. Bayside is the church that our son Ken and his wife Kyra attend in Florida. And um, we enjoy hearing the pastor there. And Ken Jr. was telling us about a devotional that they post every day. And so we signed up for that. Uh, Bayside Community Church, I believe it's called. And so this was yesterday's devotional. <laughs> Just struggling a little bit here this morning. That's okay, Ken. Yeah. This is entitled The Triumphal Entry. The verse is taken from Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Mm -hmm. And it reads like this. The events of Palm Sunday are found in the Bible and referred to as a triumphal entry. I'm glad to be serving a Jesus that is triumphant mm -hmm. because my position as him, in him makes me triumphant as well. Mm -hmm. The church is triumphant. This is actually the first step towards the cross. And I want to pause and thank the Lord Jesus Christ for the cross. It's what happened on the cross. I've been to the site of the crucifixion. 
I know there's controversy about the exact place. See, the Holy Land is shared by Christians and Jews and Muslims. They all have their place where they think certain things happen. I understand that. They all want it to happen on their turf. I understand that. But no matter where you think it happened, out of the choice of two or three different places in Israel, you got to come to one conclusion, the cross is not there. But what Jesus did on the cross stands eternally as a moment of triumph when he bowed his head and just before he did, he told the thief beside him, this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. And he said, it's finished. And he bowed his head and died. The veil of the temple, <coughs> rent and twain. Jesus was triumphant. I have finished the work my father gave me to do. We're a part of that triumph. As hard as things may be going for you or your church or somewhat your business or your health, may I remind you that we are part of thy triumphant church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Back to the reading. As Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a colt, the people waxed strong in their praise and waved palm branches. We're so excited to see him. I'll get Charlotte to post a picture along with this this morning of what happened at Mountaintop Ministries yesterday. The people were excited to see him. They were looking for a king to overthrow the Romans. However, what they didn't understand was that Jesus wasn't coming to be their deliverer from Rome. He was coming to be their eternal king. King of kings, Lord of lords, I crown thee now, thine shall the glory be. Lest I forget thy thorn crown, thorn crown brow, lead me to Calvary. As they waved their branches honoring him, the people of Jerusalem didn't realize that Jesus was on his final journey to the crucifixion. Take a moment, think about that this week. Every day get up this week and thank Jesus for dying for you. I encourage you with that. It's not I'm bossing you around, I encourage you with that. Tell him how grateful you are. You had a debt you could not pay. He paid a debt he did not owe. Thank him for, for his love and mercy in your life. This was the mission from Jesus' birth, to give his life for ours, John 10 and 18. No one can take my life from me, Jesus said. I sacrifice it voluntarily. For I have the authority to lay it down when I want and to also take it up again. For this is what my Father has commanded. We look at Psalms, Palm Sunday, knowing the agony of Jesus was for us. But also knowing that the joy of his resurrection is right before us, according to the chronological order of what happened on Holy Week. Hallelujah, he has risen. Mm -hmm. And he has cried to you and I, like he did Lazarus, loose him and let him go. The resurrection just wasn't for Jesus. People got up out of the graves. When he said, Lazarus, get up, it's a good thing he identified him or everybody in the graveyard would have got up too. <laughs> but you and I need to have a resurrection and need to have a getting up experience need to have a new life born within our 
old carnal bodies. That's made possible through Jesus Christ if we will let him be the king of our life. I crown thee now. Thine shall the glory be. Lest I forget thy thorn crown brow. Lead me to Calvary. Lord Jesus, I give my heart and life to you and everything about my life, I yield it to you. Save me today. Hosanna. Hosanna. Save me now, Hosanna. We believe if you prayed that prayer sincerely from your heart, that Jesus has entered into your heart and life to give you a spiritual resurrection. Thank him for that right now. You can use the word hallelujah for that because that means all the praise goes to the Lord. They said when they saw Jesus coming, the king comes to us riding on a donkey. Is he the king of your heart and life today? I believe there's somebody out there that made him the king of your heart today. Let me know about it. I want to congratulate you. I want to encourage you and bless you and pray for you. Until tomorrow, keep rising and keep shining. Let the Lord be big in your heart and life today. See you. Bye. Hosanna! Hosanna! Ha, 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 ha.